Agent One copy. Agent One copy. Agent One copy, sir. Do not fail the missions. I repeat, do not fail the mission. Roger that. Alright guys, now we are inside of KineMaster application. So, um, I already import my video. So, I'm ready to go. So, um, yeah, the first uh, thing you need to do is uh, you need to shoot your actor like this. Okay, you need to shoot your actor like this. Um, uh, try to appear hologram and then touching some things. Yeah, so, um, the first step you need to do is um, find where the point your actor try to appear the hologram and just right there all right so um, click layer click overlay and then you can choose any of this all right uh, we have a bunch of hologram effect here and maybe you're wondering where to get this actually I, I get this from kinemaster store just click the get more and it will lead you to the store and you can download any uh, hologram stuff from there so just choose uh, anything you like all right and you think that it's uh, suitable for your video so just just download it <laughs> i'm sorry for the noise guys <laughs> just ignore the noise <laughs> so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to add their glitching text first there you go we have a glitching text and you can scale it scale it up or down scale and then you can reposition it uh, like you want all right after that um, we move a little bit and then again click layer overlay and and this time we add the start buttons there you go and we have this all right so we can um, make the durations a little bit long but don't forget guys um, don't forget to change the blending mode to screen all right so it will be uh, uh, looks a, a little bit glowy there okay so don't forget that now we need to find where the actor are, are start to touching maybe um, a little bit there all right there you go we can um, we can cut it just click the layer and trim and trim to right of playhead that's it and we have this and we can uh, reposition it again and downscale it and we just need to um, yeah like that so I hope you understand what I'm trying to say guys what I am trying to teach you uh, I'm sure for my bad English but never mind I hope you understand and you can follow along the tutorial so there you go we have this maybe we can um, make it a little bit long there all right and then what we're going to do next is um, um, yeah add some transitions out transitions on it I choose uh, scale scale down there okay you can click the layer and just click this one uh, this one and then it will lead you to the uh, transitions effect so there you go we have this maybe I I will speed up other trans the transition a, a little bit like that maybe a little bit there all right we have this already and let's check it out cool I think it's cool already you know we have this oops too fast maybe we can uh, make the duration a little bit long okay all right there you go and just where the stop buttons are vanish and we're going to make um, the the glitching text also same durations uh, uh, yeah like the stop buttons okay so there you go you just need to uh, play with it all right uh, just just do whatever you think that that is good so again i'm going to um add uh, transitions to uh, every effect that i 
that I uh, that I use alright so there you go we have this and it's very cool alright so just where um, their previous effect vanish okay gone again you're going to add another uh, hologram stuff here so for me I'm going to choose the loading button all right there you go we have a loading button here you can reposition it like that all right and we can change the blending mode again to screen there you go and we have a loading button there cool right cool you know guys you just need to put everything that you think that it's yeah that it's look nice okay it's depend on your creativity actually so you can you can um uh, you can add some transition on it just do whatever you think that is good all right and for the next uh yeah for the next step is after where the loading buttons are 100 percent there you go just cut over there and then uh, go to layer again and put uh, the hard hard effect again change to blend the mode to screen like that all right but don't forget to make your durations long all right just make it same with your um with your original video clip when you animate uh, the positions or the scale it will not affect your work okay your work so it's not going to change so that's why you need to uh, make it a long and same with durations of your video clip that's all there you go we have this already all right guys we already have the glitching text uh, the start buttons and loading also the hard effect so for the last step is adding some elements on your hologram effect so it will look a little bit more variations more realistic so what I'm going, going to do is I'm going to click the layer overlay and we add uh, um, hologram elements here like this okay and we're going to um, yeah we're going to make the durations same like uh, our video clip and then we're going to find where uh, you or your your actor are starting to touching touching the screen there you go and from here we're going to cut it just cut it all right and then click the layer the uh the elements layer all right i i, I just call it um element okay <laughs> uh, i don't know how to name it so i just call it element and we can click uh, the in animations okay just click the the uh, the elements layer and uh, click the in uh, transitions and we can choose uh, scale up all right and then we can speed up uh, the transitions there you go we have this and for the next step is animate uh, the element just like this click again again click the layer uh, click the key icon here key icon and then just click plus and then just uh, move a little bit and then click click the plus again and you can move this here scale it down and then move and we have this one wow very cool right very cool and actually the second touch is also the same thing all right just 
the same thing there you go click layer click, click overlay and then um, you can um, choose anything you like here uh, for me I'm going to choose um, the alert alert button here all right there you go you just click the alert buttons and then we just need to find where the se second touch is there you go a little bit there maybe just reposition it and again ap apply the scale up transitions and sp speed it up there you go and we have this and again we need to animate the positions and scale so like what we did uh, previously just um, click the key icon and then um, click the plus button and then move a little bit there you go and click the plus button again and we can move it and there you go and we have nice hologram all right so you can add um everything you like all right you can add processing button and you maybe you can add this and don't forget to change the blend mode to screen all right there you go don't forget to make it to, uh to to change the blend mode to screen and we have this wow very nice you know very nice all right so maybe we maybe we can add the processing processing button here there you go we have this and again we need to edit scale up transition scale up not slide up and don't forget to change the speed all right now we have this change the speed there you go very simple guys very simple and easy maybe it took time but yeah it's cool <laughs> just like that guys so um for the final touch is you need to make a light to it all right um, you need to make a uh, light go to layer media and go to background and you can choose this just drag it um, until where your where your uh, holograms are gone <laughs> yeah there you go you have this and maybe we can change this to bluish a little bit bluish and then we um, select the crop mask and feather it yeah that's it and then again uh, change the blend mood, blending mode to screen and we have this and we can change the the alpha opacity and we can decrease it to make a soft light so we have this there you go can we play it from the beginning yep that's it very cool I click it yep very cool you know